Okay, so it is, uh, well, it's, it's starting to get a little cooler outside. I've been out riding and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's chilly, especially, especially in the mornings. Um, so these folks here, Nauru, Nauru, contacted me and asked if I wanted to take a look at their masks. And I was like, sure, uh, curious for sure. Um, so what we're going to do is they've sent me two. This one's like this one here. You guys can see it. It's like a full balaclava style. And this one's a half, like a half balaclava. Okay. Um, now, just to get this out there, these are not inexpensive. Uh, they were designed for like athletes and to really give you a good, uh, good breathing ability uh, as well as being able to like really remove all kinds of dust and pollen and, and micro whatevers that are out there. Um, for those that, you know, they are really active and need to make sure that, you know, what they're breathing is not damaging, I guess. Um, I don't like to think of myself as, as a super athlete by any means. But I have been wearing this on my motorcycle and I will be completely honest, it is awesome. Super awesome. Uh, I've been loving it. Again, not super inexpensive. So what we're going to do is take a look at their website and uh, I'll put these on. I'll put these on so you guys can see a little bit about it. But um, if you can afford it, I think I think it's a, it's a really great option. Okay, so as you can see here on their site, the best breathable sports masks. Breathing is living, right? We fuse technology, function, and design into our sports masks. So they have masks based on anything. You'll see pollen masks here, so it reduces exposures for different kind of allergies. So especially if you're someone that goes out and runs or cycles or anything like that during allergy season, and you're just like, ugh, I wanna go out and run, but I hate the allergy side. They have masks for this. They do seem like they're a bit lighter. Uh, cycling masks, again, depending on what your your need. Ski, snowboarding, um, and, and you'll see some of them here too, right? Just based on this, it actually, you know, this one just kind of loops up over the ear. So that these, these are just everyday masks. But all the way to motorcycling balaclavas, right? Which is what I have because two things. Uh, we are in a helmet a lot of times, especially if you're in a full face helmet. I was wearing this primarily with a half helmet. But as you can see, this is what I like too, right in and around like where your, your mouth and nose and everything is, uh, it's definitely, it's thicker, right? So that helps where that, that direct of wind is coming in here. But around the back and the sides, it's gonna be thinner. So this is kind of where your helmet sits. And you can kind of see it's kind of got this angle, which is, which is really nice because what happens is it goes over your face and then it kind of comes up over the back of your head so that it doesn't move when it's on, right? So I do encourage you guys to kind of come over here and, and take a look at their uh, different masks, depending on maybe what your needs are, what kind of activities you're doing, um, whether it's, you know, something like pollen that you're really looking for a mask to help with, or if you're looking for it just for certain certain activities. Um, but uh, this, this is the half one, and this is the one that I've been wearing the most. Um, you guys can see some videos here of me me wearing it when I'm riding. And I've been wearing it uh, whenever the weather kind of is in Celsius, you know, about 15, 16-ish degrees in that range. Anything there and cooler, I've been wearing it for sure. So this, this is it. Now, a few things just before I put it on. Uh, it does have, which I like too. You guys, it's probably hard to see, but it has this right in the bridge of the nose. It has like, it's probably like a metal band in there so you can form it, right? Just to kind of get it how you want so it actually sits on your nose really nice, which which I like. And it helps when it's on so you to know where the mask is, right? Because you don't want this off to the side of your face or whatever, right? So it helps you kind of center it, which I like. So this, for instance, just kind of gets on there. First try, look at that, right? It's got a nice fairly deep, right? It comes down. Yeah, that, that works good. And again, see how it comes up at the top? So when you get a helmet on, for instance, 
you know, that sits on there like really nice. And again, it just it just keeps everything for one nice and warm uh, for me. I like it too with a half helmet because this again comes up over my ears. It's got a nice seal on it. it my focus is having problems because I can't see my face as good. Um, but it just helps some of the wind not get in your ears. It stays up there because of that bridge up here. I find that this piece doesn't fall down over my nose like over time. But if you need it to, you can just pull it down. It's fine. But it goes back up really nice. This, you can tuck around your eyes or whatever you need just to kind of make sure it's in the right spot. Yeah, no, I I, I love this. I've been wearing, like I said, I've been wearing this a lot over the last probably month, month and change. Um, super good, super good. I, I, very pleased with it. And you guys, you guys can see it here. Like when you do go onto their, their website, again, if you clicked on like motorcycling balaclavas and hit that explore button down here, um, there they are there, right? There's, there's the half one that I'm, I'm using right now. Okay. Which, which excellent, super excellent. This is the other one. And you can see here that they show it with a, with a helmet on there, right? Because it's, it's got that thinness. Now, when the weather gets cooler, then you probably want to go into something like this. This is the N3, N, N3F. N3F, this is this one here, the lightweight full face balaclava with unobstructed vision and heat distribution. Yeah, and this one here, I'm gonna take this off. I'll take this off. This one here, this one here, if you see in the back, right? Unobstructed vision, yep, down. Easy to move, which is good. Ponytail strap, that can be for, for him or her, doesn't really matter, all weather, elastic fabric, 99% UV protection, which is also good. You get that UV protection. And I think that's that's also on this one as well. So it's not just warm, but you know, in the sun. Cause I like, I even have a UV, a UV shirt that I wear sometimes just because, you know, if it's really hot in that out, I just like wearing a UV shirt. Uh, and it's a reusable slash washable. So that one's really cool. Um, this one I can see wearing, I'll definitely wear it riding for sure. Uh, when it gets even cooler, you know, when it's like, I don't know, down below 10 degrees. Once once you start to get below that, then I start considering whether I want to just keep riding, right? Uh, free to breathe. I love it, right? So over the past 20 years, we've discovered that sometimes we need to change our path to achieve goals of creating breathable solutions that allow us to breathe freely. So um, how to wash your product, soak it, gentle wash, rinse, squeeze, air dry. Very cool. Um, how to wear it has little QRs and you can be part of the uh, Nauru squad if you so want to. Um, but I'm down. So this is this is the full. This is the big one, right? This is the let's 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 put her put her all up. And this is the uh, the lightweight, right? And they do make I think thicker ones if you so want. Uh, this one's kind of interesting because it does have like the, the dual straps. And as far as I can tell, if we click on here, it doesn't even have a person, and maybe it's just that new, right? So you can get it with, uh, does it have here? Yeah, quick dry, four ways. Oh yeah, so that's that's what that little orange strap is, is to kind of wrap it around here. For those that have the ponytail, right? You can kind of get it, get it up and above the ponytail. Not that I have a ponytail. But, ready? Okay, this is the same deal. This one has, like it has that same front on it here. You can see that right there, right? Uh, not as pronounced as it is on the other one, right? This one's a lot thicker, but this is their lightweight. So same idea, let's put this on, okay. I think this, this here, you just wanna make sure. Do I look cool? I do look cool, I know it, I know it. Just kind of get it, and this helps keep it just strapped on your head, right? Right. So this one comes down. Oh, I'm definitely ninja-like. Without question, I'm ninja-like. So same idea. That just sits there. This one doesn't have the metal metal band in here, right? But it does have like this is this material, whatever this is, that's thicker. Um, I think it's because it's the V. It's just a little stretchier. 
But here, so you get that you get that nice material, the thicker material down through the cheek, all the way over into this area here. The center in here is thinner. So I'm believing that's just gonna help you with the breathing because it's just it's this thinner. But man, and you put your hat on because it's got a hat. I got a hat, right? See how nice that hat fits? It doesn't. You don't even feel like any like anything, right? This one's because it's got the band here. Just kind of tucks it over your ears. Oh yes, you do that up. You know, like so. And the top is high enough so that it's not gonna come down over your eyes. You could bring it down lower if you so choose, but I, you know what, I, I would wear, I would put something like this on too. Like, let's say you got caught out in the rain or something like that. And even with a visor, just, it's just gonna keep your face nice and warm. So, and as far as I can tell, it's, all of these are gonna help with just breathing, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like it, but, but here's here's the butt, right? Here's the butt. Um, as you can see, here's all the information about this stuff, right? Breathable and anti-fog. That's see, that's the big thing. I usually wear, like, I wear uh, glasses a lot, but something like this because you got that nice. It breathes through here really nice, which means it's not going to come up here, which is good. Sports mask should be the most breathable mask. In case of the N3F, it's the it's thin, breathable fabric is also what gives the balaclavas its anti-fog properties. When you exhale out of the front of the mask, the heat travels forward through the mask instead of going up into your eyes or goggles. And I think as it gets colder, that's when fogging really... I don't get much fogging when it's like 15 degrees, which is why I would wear this. But when it's cooler out, this, then you can definitely get some fogging, right? Um, this, this could be a, a much, much nicer. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to let you guys go take a look uh, at their stuff. Now, they range price-wise, just so you guys know, U.S. dollars for one of these. Um, probably anywhere from about, you know, here you go, right? So this is $85, right? This one here, $135, $116, right? $92. I think this one here, like the motorcycle ones, kind of come in around, yeah, like this, this one, I think, well, it may not be this exact one, but this one's about $90, right? Uh, $52 for this one. That's a better deal, right? $35. So it really all depends on what you're looking for, but they, they're, they're all out there. So this one here, this is what I'm wearing right now, $55. So, you know, they're high-end masks. Realize that, right? So you're paying for the better, better gear. I like them. I think this is something that I'm going to carry with me uh, on on with me in on my bike. So just in case I want it rains, or just in case it's cool out, or just in case, whatever, uh, it's there. I'm going to carry both of them. I probably am going to take them both and probably just cram them both in one box good to go. All right, guys, if you guys are interested in this, uh, you've been seeing some video of me riding with this one on. Uh, but this one, this one, I, 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 may, I may start wearing this one, actually, on occasion, because it's, it's, it's pretty cool. All right, my friends, that's it. Links down below to Nauru's website. Check them out. Check them out. Uh, let me know what you think. If you've worn the Nauru gear, if you've worn the Nauru gear, let me know down below. And uh, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully I can get at least another month and a bit of riding. That's the hope. All right, guys. I'm out. Later.